Hello, fellow lighting nerds. I have an exacto knife here because we're going to be opening up these boxes. Mal, what's going on? Lighting's not important. Yes, it is. It's not. Mal is our in-house producer, writer, and he thinks that I'm obsessing about lighting too much. He thinks other things are important, like the script. Lighting is more important than anything else. Remember that. Without great lighting, nothing matters. Nothing. I don't know about that. Look at that. The Forza 720. Very nice, very nice. What we have here is the Forza 720 and the Forza 720B. Very nice packaging. Everything's in these, uh, whoa, I like this. First impressions. Never held this before, never looked at it. This is a junior pin and baby pin. This handle is made out of metal, feels very strong. This right here, is a weak point in a lot of COB lights, especially with a soft box on it. See that? It's like a hat. So we've got the 720B light fixture. Nice. Okay, so we've got V-mount options on the side. Long cables are important because sometimes I put the, the light way up high on a stand and I need long cables. This is gonna go onto the stand so you can put the ballast onto the stand. Aha! Uh -huh. It's perfectly. Next, we're gonna clear out all of this garbage. And in this space, we're gonna talk about these lights. We're gonna set up a cool little shot. What are you doing, Thomas? Well, I don't know about any of you guys, but we have a giant pile of garbage in our backyard. Two hours later. It's time to test out these lights. Now, I've actually never used them before. And today, we're, we're here with Lynn. She hasn't been in one of our videos for a very long time because she's been out of the country doing who knows what. I think the first thing we should do is try the Forza 720. I'm going to set up a light right here on her. We're gonna see what it looks like, and we'll start there. I like the way these cables attach. Very simple. They just go straight on. Look at the, check this out. I love that it attaches on the top because it's easy to get to. I don't have to go underneath it to attach anything. Oh, hey, it's working. <laughs> well, that's that 100%. really bright. That's 100% right there. Ah, it's hot. Ow, my hand, ouch. I probably shouldn't have turned this on. I'm gonna turn it off again. Okay, let's see what we look like. Well, that's it. I'm very impressed <laughs> with the amount of light. Now, you'll say, Thomas, why would you need this much light? It's all about lighting ratios. Sometimes, if the background is super duper bright, you got a big bright window, you need light to compensate. Also, a bright light is great because then you have more options. You can bounce it off of a big wall, you can bounce it off the ceiling, you can get bigger sources when the light is brighter. I don't care about numbers. I care about real life application. That is why today we're going to be looking at these images and you can decide for yourself. I want you to be looking at Lynn's skin tone. Does it look accurate? Do these lights give an accurate representation of sunlight? What I would like to do next is try out the 720B. And we're gonna do a direct comparison between the brightness level of the 720 and the 720B and see the difference. The 720B is bicolor. Why do you want bicolor? You're not always filming in a perfect situation. So you can match the lighting in the room, keeping a consistent white balance. You can shoot it through a window and match a uh, sunset look. Okay, here we go. Hey! We've got everything from 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. That's a pretty big range. This is at 100% at 5,600. We're gonna do a direct comparison here. Which one is brighter, the 720B or the 720? Or are they the same? 
Nanlite claims that throughout the color temperature range on the 720B, the light output remains consistent. We are going to test that out. I have a little way to do that. I'm going to make this image black and white. We're gonna cycle through the white balance. We're gonna notice if we see any noticeable change in brightness. Okay, we're looking at a black and white image. We're at 2700 Kelvin. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, all the way up to 4,000. We're at 4,500. We're at 5,000. We're at 5,500. We're at 6,000. We're at 6,500. So let me know in the comments, did you see any noticeable lighting difference? You're not crazy. That light output was not constant at all. When editing this video, I started to doubt myself, so I checked the menu once again, and I found this cool setting where you can change the light from max output to constant output. I performed another test, and I blasted the light into Alex's face. He liked it a lot. I shifted the white balance again from 2700 Kelvin all the way to 6500 Kelvin. Now this one should be pretty constant. Do you notice any difference? Let us know in the comments. I noticed on both of these lights, there are lighting effects. And I've got to tell you, throughout the years of covering LED lights on this channel, I am tired of talking about lighting effects, and I'm not going to do it anymore. Sure, we've got lightning and paparazzi and f uh, broken bulb and whatever. Like, I don't care. About okay, it's cool that they have the effects, but I don't want to talk about them anymore. Every video, check out all these lighting effects. I'm done with it. Done with it. Okay, I'm on B&H Photo right now, checking out the cost of the 720. It is $1,649, which for this light is a good deal. Lights are expensive. Next, I think the direct competitor to this is actually the Aperture 600D. The Aperture 600D costs a little bit more at $1,890. So what I want to do is I want to take our Aperture 600D, I'm going to put it on the same stand with the same softbox, the same distance away from Lynn. I'm going to expose the image for Lynn with the 720, and then I'm not going to touch the exposure for the 600, and we're going to see the difference. So you can visually see which one's brighter, so we can compare them. Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? sure. sure. Hey, Steven. Don't have such lackluster enthusiasm. Can it's you? a great idea. Thank you. What do you think now? And the jury's out. Is it just because it says 700, that means it's brighter? 720, actually. Oh, 720, that's important. Yeah. Come on. So this is interesting, because you do have to flip this over to plug in the bottom, which I really like the NAN light that plugs in at the top. If you watch this channel, you know I'm a huge fan of Aperture. So I'm actually hoping that the 600D is brighter. Okay. You're looking at the images back to back. The 720, the 720B, and the 600. Look at her skin tone between the three. Which one is the most pleasing to your eye? Can you tell a difference? Let us know in the comments which light you like. Lynn, what's your opinion on this? I felt like my eyes were squinting more from the nan light. Oh, Thomas, did you hear that? What do you think of that, Thomas? I think whatever Lynn's opinion is here in this situation is completely irrelevant. I am the person behind the camera, and I have a lot of knowledge in this field, and I feel like Lynn is overstepping her bounds in this instance, and I wish she wouldn't have even said that. So you can tell her that. What do you think of that, Lynn? I would like to take this opportunity to publicly apologize to Lynn. She was right. The 720 is brighter than the 600D. But also, take a look at the color difference. Her skin looks very different between these three lights, and her shirt, and the background. It's interesting to see how every light has a different white balance and can have a green or magenta shift. Just like every other LED company, there's a cool app to control these that works, that's great. We don't really use apps very often. I like to like use this. See this? This is my app. Right there, see that? See that button? App. I want to show you a couple of things. First, we mowed our lawn a couple of weeks ago and these weeds are almost as tall as me. Also, it's monsoon season in Arizona, which means it's not a dry heat like everyone says. It's 105 degrees and extremely humid. And so when you step outside, you become very sweaty. And Lynn is standing over there by herself. So let's get this going. It's the middle of the day. 
it's bright, and I really wanted to do a test to see just how bright this light could be outside. So I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna see. Aha! See the difference? Before, after. It takes a while to turn on. Before, after. Look at this, five, four, three, two. Wow, it takes a while for this light to turn on. That's strange. Oh well, okay, let's look at this image. That's probably hard for you to even see. I apologize. A setup like this might work for a news broadcast. I know a lot of news guys are liking these LED lights now, so this could work. What I would normally do in a situation like this is shade Lynn from the sun so it's not so harsh. So I'm shading Lynn from the direct sunlight here, and then the light is compensating the rest. So I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see the difference. That's without the light. So that's what you can expect from this light. Okay, just give me a minute. I need you to go to the bathroom. All right, sounds good. I was told this was gonna be worth my time, but I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to clean up this mess that Thomas made. Oh my word. What is going on here? How do you put up with this? I don't know. I didn't sign up to be his mother or his maid. Look at this. You knocked over a lamp. These cables are everywhere. And I heard the ballast fell off and we're walking inside. onto the concrete outside. In conclusion, I would like to say that Nanlite has figuratively and literally hit a home run with this light. This. Boom. And I say that because the construction is fantastic, and that matters when you're using these lights on set for years. The light quality is beautiful. They're well-priced. If you want to buy this light, Today, I do recommend this light today. That being said, you really have to use a light for years on set before you really know if it's top quality. If you enjoyed this video, please do not subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to somebody like Dave Mays. His YouTube channel is fantastic and he actually puts work into every single YouTube video he makes, like Mr. Beast.